about in the middle, I'd say. So, from here, all we need to do is use our lava now. I don't know if this is going to go well or not. Should we have, like, a block that goes... Because I don't know if the lava's just going to flow away. So, let's put the lava there and see what happens. It's going to be one really thin layer of lava. Right, good. So, if we put another layer here, I don't, I don't know if this is too long or not. Is it too long? What do you think, guys? Is it too long? Isn't it too long? Let's just uh, find out. There we go. One thin layer of lava. Is it going to reach? Well, it looks like it reaches. Does it reach all along? Do I not need to... I don't want it to be too long. And then it's... Um... Let's just try it. If, if we can go get some more anyway. Lava's not really a thing that <laughs> I'm worried about. I still didn't know if it reached a certain amount or if it goes along the whole thing. Yep, it's, it reaches a certain amount. And it looks like it's going dry. Can I... Yep. Once it reaches here, then, it just disappears. So what we need to do is put a block there. I'm just going to put um, some stone there for now. Because that should be good. There we go. And then I'll put lava here and here. And then in the middle is the safe zone. So this is where uh, the safe zone is. And I might put some traps here and here, maybe. I'm not too sure. Then I might put a couple above that... Um, spikeable traps that just come down. Maybe three or four on each side. That'll be uh, pretty decent, I think. Yeah, I reckon that'll be good. So there we go. We've just got to be real careful of this now and make some platforms. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use my wood to make some platforms. Let's just make a bunch of those. There we go. We keep going. 54 platforms from that. Wow. So we've got our platforms now. Hopefully it'll reach out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring them back as well. So we need it to be about this height, I'd say. Yeah, around this height. Just so things don't spawn on us. Here we go. We're going to go in. Corrupt to there. So if you do want to follow me and build this, feel free to. It's nothing nothing amazing. Nothing spectacular. Anyone could build it. And like I said, I'm just going to use some traps in a minute. I'll probably go grab some grab some wires and grab the wrench or something. Here we go. Let's get my platforms from behind because I don't want to have it all along. But I need to do this just so I can fill it out. See how it's slowly all getting corrupted as well? Right, here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and go as close as possible to the end. So I can just do that. Do you reckon if I keep swinging, it should... Yeah, there we go. We, we're coming along. We're coming a long way now. <laughs> we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. And this is what I like. I like um, progressing and building. Because you guys can build this too. Like I say, you can follow it along if you want to. It's nothing, nothing amazing. Nothing spectacular. Just something really simple. Really easy. And just want it above there. So that's that. And then we need to make our way back now so that we can place some traps down as well. Uh, I'm probably going to have one of the spiky ball traps there. So I'm going to move this in and grab a load of these platforms back. There we go. And then we're going to do it the other side as well. Because if we do it the other side, it should be good. And I think it should be turning night time as well. So we can try and test this thing out. But we need to go get more lava after this. And we do need to go grab our traps as well. So there we go. That's one. Shall I? Mm, not sure whether to do any spiky ball. Nah, we, we, what we'll do is we'll do spiky ball traps. I, I was thinking of doing spare traps as well. Sorry, not spiky ball traps. But I think it's just going to be a waste. Waste of time. Right, there we go. So that's where an, another spiky ball trap is going to go. And then I'm going to go all the way out here. You know what? Actually, come to think of it, maybe they're a little bit too close. Do you reckon? What do you think, guys? A little bit too close? I think they might just be a bit too close for me. Just for my liking. I don't, I don't really like it that close. So there we go. We've got two platforms there. And we can remove this one. Because I'm just going to put two spiker ball traps down. Maybe I can have a spear traps underneath me here. But are they going to reach? Like they'll probably reach to about there. Where my uh, cursor is. Mimics like spawning on this. Is it? It's quite a good uh, find actually. That mimics like spawning here. Always good to find out that. So we need to... Go, platforms, up. It's coming along nicely, like I say. Another cross necklace again. Wow. Another one. Another one. Another one. <laughs> we'll just keep getting loads of them, I bet. Right, so the spike ball trap shouldn't... Actually, it doesn't even matter if they reach me because I'm not going to be down at the bottom. So, as long as I'm not down at the bottom, I should be fine. I don't even know why I'm worrying about it. I really don't. But let's uh, move this along now. And I reckon I'm going to have one more spiky ball trap. Destroying. Just like it does. It always destroys. So get this up as well. Boom. And then. 
around there will be good. That's good. So I think I'm going to put some... Is it going to be worth it? Yeah, I reckon it might be worth it. Put some arrow traps here. Do you reckon, guys? Arrow traps left and right. Mm, yeah, why not? So we're going to head home, grab our traps. Hopefully grab some more lava as well because we do need more of that. Let's just double check the time. I reckon it's just becoming night time. It is 4.44 p.m. So we have a little bit of time until night time. Let's go ahead. Let's go down here. We're just going to hope for the best. That's all we can do. Just hope for the best. Come on. Go get some more lava. So once we've got this lava, we should be all fine. And then we'll test out the trap we've just built. Really? Another one spawn there? How many want to spawn there? Like, I never get... I never ever get... Why are they spawning there? I never ever get them there. And now they've all of a sudden just started spawning there. So weird. Very weird. Got a load of rubbish on us. But I don't really care about it. We'll just uh, make our way down anyway. The lava's not too far away. And then we can teleport home. Hopefully get back to our trap before it's night time. Night time starts at 7.30. So we should be good though. Just grab the... Oh, wrong thing. One, two, three. We're all good. Now let's head home. Go. And we've got the three lava buckets. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm liking this, guys. I'm liking it. So, let's say, should we grab the traps now or should we grab them after? I just don't want to don't wanna go over time. So, where are the traps? I know I've got some around here somewhere. We don't have any there. I, th I thought I did have some there. Maybe not then. <laughs> Maybe all of our traps are in our other world. I know I had some at the start at one point, but I don't know where I put them. We've got a wrench there. So we'll grab that, and we already have some wires on us. We just don't have any... Hmm. We'll get a switch as well. We just don't have any traps, do we? None at all. So hopefully we can find some, though. None at all. Right, oh, we've got some there. There are spikeable traps or spear traps. Spear traps. No, we don't want those. We want spikeable traps and dart traps, because uh, spear traps aren't going to be any use at all. None? No? Ah, it's such a mess, isn't it? <laughs> so I need to sort it all out. You guys just roast me in the comment section right now. Right, here we go. So we've got uh, we've got no traps so far, have we? Nope, we've just got our wrench and that is it. <laughs> no traps whatsoever. Do we have any in our piggy bank? Because I'm pretty sure I do remember having some sometime in there. No, not even in our piggy bank and our safe. That's not good. Not a good start. Let's have a quick look in for some of these, because they could be here. Oh, there's some. Lovely. Spare traps, spikeable traps. So we'll take, what, f five of those? Yeah, why not? Take five of those, and then we need some dart traps if we've got any. Do we have any anywhere? This is why I need to sort these out. I've been saying this so long, and I just don't ever do it. Spikeable traps, spare traps, but no arrow traps. No dart traps whatsoever. Like, none. Got a one-second timer there. That's actually better than the switch. Blood Moon is rising. I don't like that at all. I don't like... So, ah, here we go. Flame traps. We can use those. 999 of them. Oh, I went on a crazy expedition once. It's in my previous videos. And I got so many traps. I went through about, what? 40 ones. <laughs> it's insane. So, we have 999 there. And we've got five flame traps. They're not dart traps. They're not going to travel as far. But they'll do some damage. And that's all I need right now. So, it's actually night time right now. Because the blood moon is rised, and that's when it rises at night time. So it's just in night time. Let's go to our trap, which is just down here. So we should just be able to fit that in there. Hopefully the lava does not disappear. And we're going to just put a few flame traps here. So let's grab those. First one's going to grab. We go. One, two, three. And we'll put two on the other side. I should just grab the whole lot, shouldn't I? Rather than grabbing them individually. And I, I will put them... Yeah, actually, I'm going to do that now. Don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. I was going to put them, like, above each other. So, that one would go... Ah, uh, I can't do it because I've not got enough. If I had more, I'd be able to do it. But what we need to do now is link them all up. So, we've got that. We've got our wrench. And what we're going to do is we're just going to link them up to a simple one-second time. We should really get lava in... Uh, lava? We should really get a honey in here as well. That's going to be very helpful if we do that. So, there we go. We're just going to bring it along here. And then we're going to go down. Maybe we should have, maybe we should have uh, thought about that before we did that. Right, bit messy, but I'm not, I'm not too fussed. Not too fussed about that. I never, th I never thought about this either. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to fly. You know what? I'm gonna leave the spikeable traps out for this one, but I'm gonna get the one second timer on, and 
We've got to summon this in as fast as possible. One second timer down. And that's going to do those. The flame traps should come on now. Lovely. They're not going to be as uh, effective as I want them to be. And the spike ball traps would be so much more effective. So let's go ahead and do this. Boom. Let's go. We had our wrench. We can trash that, trash that, trash that. So you trash anything we're not going to use. I've got such a messy inventory run. <laughs> it's so messy. Right, here we go. So we do have traps now. We've got lava as well. And we can go around and use the flare on. Like I said, it's not going to be as effective. But it's still going to be quite effective. We've got a Petri dish there, really. Out of all the things we've got, we've got a Petri dish. Wow. <laughs> That's just mad. So we can, like, stare around the middle type thing. And all these scarecrows and stuff will get slowed down a little bit. That's actually quite a good trap so far. I don't know how well it's going to go in the higher waves, though. Like I say, it's not going to be very effective. But it's something bonus. Lava's just an empty bucket. I mean, what? Oh, my empty buckets must have just fouled out. <laughs> That's why there's an empty bucket down here as well. Let's just grab that quickly. There we go. We didn't get burnt. We luckily got away from that. And it's just absolutely wrecking it. Look at that. Scarecrows everywhere. Don't know if they're spawning underneath or what. Or if they're literally just dying. I don't know right now. Bit confused why more things aren't spawning in. Because I've actually blocked off that bomb bit. Let's just take a look on our map. Yeah, that they are actually all spawning down there. That's, that's the problem, guys. You've got to sort of block it all in. And they're all spawning down the bottom now. So that's not good. That's not good at all. If they're all going to spawn down there, it's going to stop them from spawning. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go down there and see if I can kill a few of them. Because it, it's going to stop us from advancing in this. I don't know why so many are spawning down here, though. Oh, it's possessed armors? Huh? What? What? <laughs> why are possessed armors spawning down here? I don't understand. I've summoned in the, the pumpkin moon, so all pumpkin moon mobs should, should spawn in effect, surely. I don't know. <laughs> so this trap isn't going too bad so far. We've, we've, we've come a bit of a way. I do need to uh, look at some other traps so I can get some inspiration from them. And, you know, get some ideas. Arkanauts has amazing traps. So I might try and um, have a look at some of his. See if I can, you know, mimic some of his. Maybe some Happy Days ones as well. Because Happy Days has some awesome ones as well. Hopefully I can make a few of his. But, you know, simplified versions, because I don't like using too many traps. It, it just lava's good enough, as long as you've got a good long path. But, obviously, I need to block underneath off, off because all the things are spawning down there. Which does stop us a bit from, you know, advancing. So, we're in wave 3, and I don't think as many things are really spawning because of the lava. Is that true? Is it because of the lava? I think there might be a bit too much lava. So, maybe, maybe I'll remove these bits of lava here, so things can spawn. Because I think that's what's stopping them from spawning... On the left and right side. It's the lava than anything. Believe that's that's true. Yeah, they're more spawning underneath us because of the lava. Ah, I don't know. Maybe I can make some more flat paths each side. So that more things can spawn there. That might that might work. If I make, um, go into this mountain. And like just uh, mine a bit down. I think that will work quite well actually. I've just had, that's just like the best idea of the day. <laughs> it's the best idea I've had all week. Right, two scarecrows there. We've got another scarecrow there. We are absolutely destroying this. So, yeah, the, the next few episodes are all going to be concentrated around the uh, spooky. And I'm going to do some spooky builds as well. Like I say, I'm going to introduce some people in so they can fight this, uh, <laughs> these pumpkin moons with me. I just need a flat world. I need to rebuild this, do a flat world, or even just go in my other world and just flatten it out. Because in this world, oh, that just come from nowhere. In this world, I don't know. Things just seem to spawn underneath because of the lava now. So what? If we let's, let's just remove the lava and see if my theory is true. First, we need to find the source, which is going to be really hard. I don't know where the source is. The source, it doesn't have a source. What's going on? Ah! Oh, I like how all the enemies start spawning when I'm low on life. Well, let's turn off the traps a minute because they're quite annoying. Well, we've got wave four now. So we turn off the traps. Let's see what goes on from here. Got scarecrows coming in. This was probably the worst idea ever, weren't it? Let's just uh, stand there a minute. Can we not pick this up? Is there no source? Uh oh, ah, oh, worst idea ever. <laughs> worst idea ever. But no, lava should burn a tree, right? In effect, lava should burn that tree like crazy. We should go mad. Should should its life should come down super fast. But no, it's a tree after all, isn't it? There we go. We're all, we're all healed up now. We can use our flare on again. All good. Whew. 
First mini boss defeated. We're on wave five. Pretty much not going to make it as far as last time. Nowhere near as far. And that's because I completely forgot the lava does actually stop things from spawning. So let's actually try our theory out. Let's try and make like uh, some... Ah, no. That's it. We've got in there now. So uh, what I wanted to do was just get in so the lava didn't spread as much. Ah, no. Spooky woods. But yeah, um, if, if we get more, more of that mountain caved in, I reckon more will spawn there. Because the more open area you have, I think the more things that spawn there. Here we go. They're, they're all started spawning now. <laughs> I don't know what's uh, happened there, but a lot of things just started spawning out of the blue. We've got wave six. Wave six inbound. Poltergeists. That's where it starts again. I think the pumpkin's on the next wave, isn't it? So we should be good this round. Right, now, well, now we've defeated that then. Let's go... Uh, try make a massive open thing right here so then things start spawning here rather than you know millions of miles away <laughs> uh oh oh spooky wood i'm not liking this it spawned in poltergeist is taking me down as well i need to get away from this oh let's heal up jesus ah oh, save me lord save me we need to try lords to come down hero you're me everybody Save me! So nothing's spawning in there at the minute, but we'll, we'll cave it out and make it a little bit bigger. And hopefully we can um, get things spawning in there. There we go. Right, it's dead. I think we, all, we just got the spooky twig, didn't we? I don't think I picked that up, though. But I believe we did get the spooky twig. Let's just... um. Oh, Cursed Sapling! Even better! It's one of the pets! Awesome! I think we've already got one of those, though. But wow, we've got a Cursed Sapling now as well. And we are on wave 7. I don't think we've been done any better, but we've not done any worse than what did we did before. So, it's not been too bad. We have got the burn effect on us because we've just uh, walked into our own lava. Uh, but a lot of improvements on this uh, can be made. Once it has been made, I reckon it'll be quite a good trap. Is that the end of it or is there more spawning? Because I don't really know at the minute. Not nope, more spawning. All good. There we go. Whoa, look at all of them spawning. Oh, there's the pumpkin. Not good. And it just despawned. So there we go. Maybe it weren't as bad as what I thought it was. It, 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 it It's going okay. Like I say, it's not going to be the best trap ever. I just want to build a really simple but effective trap. So if we do hollow this out a little bit, I reckon this will help us a lot. Because a lot of the enemies aren't spawning here. So if it's just so far away from the lava that... The only problem is that's quite close to my house, which I'm not liking that at all. <laughs> I don't like that a, a single bit. But hopefully next time, things will start spawning here. Because this is just about the right amount of blocks off. And it's going to be a massive open area. So they'll have loads of space to spawn. There we go. Just get all this. And we can go block off some of the bit in the middle as well. And that'll be quite cool. If we do block off a little bit of that. There we go. World feeder. We don't need to, we don't need to bother with those. World feeders aren't anything of our agenda in, at the minute. Here we go. I don't understand why they spawn at the top. Like, they're supposed to be underground things, them. The cursed flames. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to spawn underground. I don't know why they always spawn above ground for me. We've got spiky ball traps here as well. Let's uh, put them down. Hopefully, I can put them down here. Yeah, you can. Good, good, good. And I can remove... Once I've put those down, I can actually remove the platform. So, I just have a free platform there. Uh oh, maybe not. <laughs> no, no, that didn't go well. Oh, uh, one, one will be enough. Let's just see if we can... Get our wrench and move it along to here. There we go. It's going to be a bit messy, but who cares? As long as it makes a path, we should be good. There we go. That is so messy. So, so messy. As long as it links up, we should be good, though. Ugh, I'm not liking that at all. I'm not liking that at all. <laughs> we, we could spam our um, wrench around. There we go. Right, it's all linked up. So let's just uh, test it. Yep, spiky ball traps do come down. Like I said, a few more would have been better, but yeah, it's, it's okay. We don't have the capacity to do that at the minute. But we do have a load of wires, so we're all good. As long as we're not wasting too many wires, we're just wasting a few. I, do, I, well, I say a few, but we're wasting tons. Right, there we go. And that should... I should be able to just about reach, I think. Because my, my reach is quite long, isn't it? I've noticed that. It's quite long. I don't, I don't think on Android Edition it's this long. There. So now we're going to put the spiky ball traps there as well. It's coming along okay. Not too bad. 
Don't know if that's even going to link up, but we can make it downwards. No problem. Go and finally use the wrench. And it only has to be like the next block to it. So it should still be there. But just in case, there we go. Get the platform. And we get the other platform. And we should be good there. We're all good. And we've just removed the spiky wheel trap. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'll, I'll, I'll fix it another time. For now, that's what we've got, okay? That's what we're rolling with. We do need some uh, dart traps, like I say, so they can shoot here and shoot there. It would be nice to have dart traps in between. I think that would be good. So I have, like, um, flame trap, dart trap, flame trap, dart trap, flame trap. Then flame trap, dart trap, flame trap, uh, dart trap, flame trap. Because the spiky balls are actually going over that at the minute as well. So that's not good. But we've picked up all our loot. There we go. Right, let's uh, turn that off now because that's just going to be useless to have. There we go. So spiky wheel traps look like they do will be effective. But like I say, uh, a little bit of improvement. So we should be all good there. Fill in the hole a little bit. And right, let's get rid of that. We're going to fight the pirate invasion. Uh, we're going to try to get our daily. We're going to try to do this every time now and until we get a coin gun. So we're going to try and fight the pirates in this trap. See how well it goes. And we'll just, we'll just turn it on one. Whatever. We're all good. But yeah, spike ball traps still make it all the way over here. Even though that it's so far away. It, it's crazy, right? Come on, pirates. Which way are they going to come from? I think it did say the east. I'm not sure if it said the west or the east. But we'll soon find out which one it said when they approach. Three, two, one. The pirates of Ara. Okay, that's not good. Three, two, one. The pirates have arrived. Uh, my timing's just a little bit out today, guys. Give me a second.